Hello students, in this video we will learn about weather and climate. What is weather? Weather is the state of atmosphere describing, for example, the degree to which it is hot or cold, wet or dry, calm or stormy, clear or cloudy. Weather refers to day-to-day -day temperature and precipitation activity, whereas Climate is the term for the averaging of atmospheric conditions over longer periods of time. What are the causes of weather? Daily changes in the weather are due to winds and storm. Seasonal changes are due to the earth revolving around the sun. Because the earth is round and not flat, the sun's rays don't fall evenly on the land and oceans. The sun shines more directly near the equator, bringing this area's more warmth. Different types of weather. These are the different types of weather. Lightning, sunny, snowy, cloudy, windy and rainy. Now what are the differences between weather and climate? First, we will see the definition of weather and climate. Weather is the state of atmosphere on a current day at a current time. It changes day to day. While climate is the average condition that are expected at a certain place over a number of years. Now, what are the components of weather and climate? Weather includes sunshine, rain, cloud cover, winds, hail, snow, slip, freezing rain, flooding, blizzard, ice storms, thunderstorms, steady rains from a cold front or warm front, excessive heat, heat waves and more. While climate may include precipitation, temperature, humidity, sunshine and wind velocity. Phenomena such as fog, frost and hail storms over a long period of time. Now the forecast. In weather, day-to-day -day forecast can be done depending on the air pressure, temperature and other similar factors. While in climate, forecast can only be done over longer periods of time such as 30 years, the average of weather over 30 years helps determine the climate over a certain area. Now, weather and climate determined by Weather is determined by real-time measurements of atmospheric pressure, temperature, wind speed and direction, humidity, precipitation, cloud cover, etc. And climate is determined by aggregating weather statistics over periods of 30 years. Now the study of weather and climate. The study of weather is known as meteorology and the study of climate is known as climatology. What are the causes of variation in climate? There are different causes of variation in climate such as distance from the equator or latitude, climatic heat zone, distance from the sea, height above sea level, winds, humidity, influence of human beings. We will see these points in little detail. First, distance from the equator or latitude. Latitude gives the location of a place on earth to the north or south of the equator. The far, further away from the equator a location is, the less sunlight this location receives. The sun's rays fall directly on the equator. The sun's rays hit the earth in the straight lines. But as the earth is spherical in shape, they spread out more at the poles than they are at do at the equator. When the rays spread out, 
they provide less heat the further a place is from the equator the colder its climate thus all places near the equator receives maximum heat next is climatic or heat zone as we know earth is divided into different heat zones depending on the amount of heat received from the sun the three climatic or heat zones are as follow the torrid zone the temperate zone and the frigid zone the distance from the sea water bodies get heated and cooled very slowly when compared to the heating and cooling on the land so when the land is hot in the summer the water body is still cold and in winter when the land is cold the water body is warm hence places near the coast have a mild climate the air temperature in places near the sea remains steady all year round this is because it is influenced by the sea temperature that does not alter much height above sea level at a high altitude air becomes thicker thinner and hence absorbs and retains less heat this is why it is cooler up in the hills than in the plains thus the temperature on top of the mountain is lower than the temperature at sea levels next is winds the direction of wind is an important factor in determining the climate of a place winds are hot cold or moist depending on where they are originated from for example the monsoon winds blowing from the indian ocean and the arabian sea bring rain in india hot dry winds blowing from the desert makes north india hot during summer next is humidity in places near the equator there is lot of humidity because of the heat of the sun this results in plenty of rainfall in the region thus the climate near the equator is hot and wet on the other hand the de- desert areas have very little humidity and the rainfall in these areas are scanty next is influence of human beings human beings influence the climate in a significant way deforestation and air pollution results in rising temperature and scanty rainfall big cities often have a warmer climate than the surrounding land this is because concrete buildings observe the sun's heat during the day and radiate it because back to the atmosphere next is climatic regions the earth is divided into six main climatic regions this regions are distinct areas that share a common common climate and vegetation first is tundra this region lies in the north frigid zone that extends all along the northern tip of europe asia and north america here the climate is harsh it is frozen for most part of the year we can see this blue area is the tundra regions next is equatorial this region lies in the torrid zone here the weather is hot and humid with excessive rainfall next is tropical this region lies in the tropical belt on either side of the equatorial region here the climate is hot throughout the year next is temperate zone 
This region is located between tropics and the Arctic and Antarctic circles. Summers are hot and humid and winters are cool and dry. Most of the grassland of the world are found here. Next is desert. Most of the deserts of the world lie close to the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. These regions experience extreme heat and dryness. Next is Mediterranean. This region lies approximately between latitude 30 degree and 50 degree north and south of the equator. Here the summer is dry and the winter is wet. I hope you liked my video. Thank you.